Good afternoon everybody, how are you all getting on? Well, what can I say? We're now into November and the temperature's 17 degrees, believe it or not. 17 degrees. We've got a, a strong southerly wind bringing all the hot air up from the continent, so that certainly helped. So yeah, I just thought to myself, what better, what a better day to get out and have a little ride. <laughs> So, yeah, the old horse and cart. So anyway, yeah, nice little ride out into Yarmouth. Little bit of traffic on the roads. Government have just um, insisted on another lockdown. I know we're all bored of talking about it, but yeah. So we're going to be locking down. So not going to get out on this much more than think. So I thought with the temperature and the weather being as nice as it is what a better way to spend that the day or the afternoon like I say there's a few cars on the road today but nothing major yeah I noticed uh, I was watching yesterday that Triumph have brought out or bringing out the new Trident so I watched a few, re few reviews on that looks quite quite a nice looking bike Oh, better slow down a bit, getting a bit carried away. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, the, the Triumph Trident. Lovely looking bike. Kind of bought that one, or oh, I think it's coming out in January, they're saying. So that would be nice to have a little look at one of those. Don't really know too much about it, but maybe worth a little ride on one, I don't know. Yeah, fairly fairly reasonable price as well by the sounds of it. They're coming in at about seven thousand, seven thousand and something. But it's definitely worth a look. I think the competition, like they say, is going to be the CB650R. Yeah, that sort of range of bike. It's very windy today. I hope you can hear me all right. It's quite breezy. Have a little ride up the quay here. It's just nice to get out anyway, regardless of where you go, as long as it's dry, which it is. That's a good thing about the temperatures up when it's windy. That's... We've had a little bit of rain today, but the roads are dried out, which is good. I can't believe we're in November. Where's the year gone? We've got uh, Christmas next month. Whether you like it or not, it's going to be a funny one, I think, this year. Ah, oh, well, anyway. We're going to have to just see how that pans out. See what happens. You know. See what that brings. We're coming up to Great Yarmouth Power Station, just up here on the left. Take a turn and down there onto the seafront. Hello, sir. Another fine fellow biker. <laughs> yeah, there's a power station here. Gas powered power station. I think the supply comes from, um, from Backton, I think. Right, take a left here. So we're now coming on the Yarmouth seafront, the top end of the seafront. Well no, it's not actually the top end. <laughs> well, depends where you are of course. Sea looks quite calm out there considering the winds we got today. few industrial premises up here. Yeah I know I keep saying it but I don't, I don't know how many more opportunities there's going to be to get out until, until springtime. Someone's decided to set up a camper there. Not a bad idea. Be bloody cold though I should think.
So yeah, I hope you can hear me okay. Like I say, that is quite windy. Quite windy today. Well, stay there, sir. Don't fancy my chances with the bus. <clears throat> a few rides operating there at the Pleasure Beach. Looks like it's open. Like I say, the government, we're going to... Yeah, we've got a lot of changes coming again. So we just have to... Have to go with the flow, really. I'm surprised they didn't do it earlier, but... Got a horse and cart here again. It's good to see a few people about still. So one horsepower cart. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yeah, there still seems to be a few people about. I don't know what they're doing there. Is that a testing facility, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, testing site. Cool how things have changed compared to this time last year. Never would have thought this, would you? When you think how this is going to look in another couple of weeks. I mean, it's not busy now, but in a couple of weeks' time, there's going to be no one up here. The odd dog walker, maybe, and jogger. People out getting their exercise for the hour of the day, I think. You're welcome. Great Yarmouth Marina Centre there, just a pile of rubble. Makes you wonder when they're going to start developing that. It's probably been put on hold as well, I should think. Temperature's gone up to 18 degrees here. 18 degrees, go. It's like um, summer temperature, that is. Like I say, it's not cold at all today. I've only got a t shirt on underneath the jacket. Ooh, steaming up a little bit here. Well. Shouldn't really be doing that. I've got the the pin lock visor inside, which I highly recommend them. Highly recommended. I think what it might be is because I've got all the vents done up. You get a lot of wind blow through the vents, but keep you keep you keep you clear and a bit of air flowing through. But the downside with that is is kind of interferes with the microphone inside a little bit nothing major but yeah that's cleared again now see it doesn't take a lot a little bit of airflow through there and away you go away you go That's what I'm saying about just nipping out and sticking some charge back in your battery. That's all it takes really. Although we're not gone into winter yet, so you're gonna have any issues with your batteries normally through the winter months.
I do love that quick shifter and blipper on this. Still 10 years of clutch now and then, no at lower speeds. You don't really need to, but I don't really think that's that good for your gearbox at lower speeds. It's designed, I think, for more up the rev range. It's nice to always, always catch a green light. <laughs> Oh, sometimes you're great, you see me catch every single red light going. It's just, you just can't get round it and then... <laughs> oh well. Far much more things to be worrying about at the moment. I think personally we should have locked down a lot earlier again. You know, we, we come out of lockdown a bit early before I say a bit early, I think we'd we come out, you know, to, way too early. I can see what they were worried about, the government, you know, worried about the economy and what have you, but we don't want to be putting economy before health and everyone's well-being and safety. Listen to me running on. <laughs> but that's just my view anyway. It's like one minute we're encouraged to go out and they're even subsidising the cost of our meals and then the next minute we're oh, it was blatantly going to happen wasn't it and figures start coming up again and well anyway that's enough of that you, you hear enough of that on the news <laughs> let's have a little ride through Caster on sea Caster on sea I'm not a tour guide by the way I'm just <laughs> <Whee. laughs> I just decided to uh, just to let you know that we're coming into Caister. Caister Golf Course. Nice little town, Caister. Yeah, again, there's houses popping up all over the place. <laughs> Wherever they can squeeze them in. But yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm not cold whatsoever. You think in, in November, you you know, you'd, you'd be needing your thermals on underneath, which is what I tend to do. So when, you know, wear, wear, wear some thermals underneath, and that's all you really need. Obviously, you're not scorching hot, but kind of keeps you warm. Oh, I've got a little bit of traffic here. What's going on here? I don't think that's all from the traffic lights, is it? Oh no, we've got temporary traffic lights up there. Oh well, can't beat it. Like I say, I've always said before, as long as you're making a little bit of progress and you're not and you're sensible about it, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, my friends. <sighs> oh, there's some air in. What we've got coming down here? Lamborghini. No, McLaren. Oh. Oh, steaming up again. Here we go. On the move. Mm -hmm. I'll say, I'll say it before, motorbikes are excellent for commuting, especially rough rush hour traffic. I'll say you'd be sat back there in your car now. And it's not about going as fast as you can, everywhere you can. It's just about being sensible really and nipping through the traffic where you can. It's not much fun in the winter though, I must admit. If you have to give your car up and jump on one of these. <laughs> You end up with um, cold knackers. <laughs> Case to camp there. I think it's uh, is it a haven. Yeah, haven. That's very popular, that one. Through the summer. I think it's still open now, actually. I think their opening time got extended because of the seabird. Another house going up there. 
I'm not obsessed with houses, but they do really seem to be just putting them wherever they can. So that was Caister. Straight through the middle of Caister. The smokehouse, they have the bike meets there in three of the summer on a Thursday. That's a good night. First and last pub, well, used to be a pub. <laughs> I think you struggle to get a pint in there now. <laughs> Might be waiting a while. Anyway, that's a nice little ride out um, through Yarmouth in the case to back into the village. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, take care. Have a good afternoon. Speak to you later.